If you are interested in teenage boys, you've come to the right place. Wait a minute, that's that sounded a bit. Just roll the intro before I get arrested. Welcome back, friends, to Saving Spurs with your host, Jimmy Savile here. I mean, what? I mean, are you crazy, Frank, Senior Secrets, and all those? Not not the Savile thing, but uh, yeah, I mean, we do have some youth candidates to take a look at, so I wasn't completely wrong, right? Even though it's a bit dodgy way to say it, but uh, hmm. Jordan Hinton is apparently the big next superstar in the world. Uh, I don't know, but he doesn't really look that incredible, does he? But, eh. You never know with these youngsters. Uh, Jordan Bell is also a goalkeeper, so I don't know why we're getting all these goalkeepers. But uh, Graham Howes actually was the one of the ones that looked a little bit interesting. Like 16 flair already, good acceleration, good pace, good technique as well. Like probably more of a winger type, I would say. But uh, you, you can do a bit e e uh, both there and up front if absolutely necessary. And uh, I don't know. There were some decent ones in there, I guess. I just, you know let director of football or whatever sign them and let them do their thing and then we'll see if they randomly pop up in three years and turn into amazing uh, so yeah there's that other than that we've been playing some matches since we last met versus the southampton match whatever and uh, yeah as you can see it's been it's been going quite well i mean one nil win to <laughs> crystal palace only a one nil win by the way one of them frustrating ones uh we did get smashed by lucerne two three away we were three nil down at like half time, right? At half time. Oh, okay. 3 1 down at half time, but we were just getting absolutely wrecked. And then I had to put on the big boys because obviously I was rotating. Well, we did smash Chelsea afterwards. Oh, my voice is dying. I'm sorry. I think I'm getting a bit of a cold. It's cold down here. Freezing. Anyway, we did smash Chelsea 4 0 away. I'm not quite sure why. We just absolutely pummeled them, dominated them in every facet of the game. 4 0 again versus Lucerne. So we did go through, at least in the bloody Euro Cup 2. Whatever that means. FA Cup win versus Aston Villa. 2-1. Yay. Uh, and then 4-2 win over Brighton. Which was uh, which is good, I guess. Uh, today we're going to focus on the toe. No, I mean focus on the Euro Cup 2. As we play Ren. Which is pretty interesting. What else? Is, who else are left? Well, the big boys. Roma, Olympic Lyon. And if we beat Ren, we have a chance of meeting Lyon. I, I know that. I remember that from the draw. But... It's so weird. It's just the draw when there's like 20 teams still remaining. So it's like uh, either one of these gets to play one of these. And it's like, okay, thank you for that. That's very informative. Anywho, this is the lineup that's going to beat it. And there's no real surprises other than the fact, I mean, that's not a surprise though. Golini gets to start. He starts all the Euro Cup uh, games. And then it's just Emerson, Sule, Romero, Regulon, Javier Bellingham, Rafinha, Kane, Martial up front. But Damsinho is going to start. And that's basically just because Son hasn't been uh, performing that well recently. 6.6 .6 over the last five games. Not quite good enough. So, by all means, let's put Damsinho in there. Let's submit the team. Right, I told the lads that we're favourites, which is definitely correct. Even though now I'm looking at the Ren squad, it's actually pretty exciting. Uh, exciting and pretty interesting. So, for, first of all, they have Mr. Lovro Maya, a great little player that they bought in real life from Dynamo Zagreb. Great, great player. Also, they have Etienne Kepwe. Weird that he's still alive, but 33 years old. He's actually not that bad. And uh, I remember this guy, Bjorn Mailing, a uh, great little Norwegian left back. And also I remember this guy randomly, Baptiste Santa Maria. He's actually a very good player. I remember getting him on a free in FM21 oftentimes, and he's just very solid. I mean, not a star, but like solid, solid for a mid-team, mid-tier team or something. Uh, anywho, into the match we go. And let's just get a nice, I don't know, 4 nil win. Right, and uh, since nothing is actually happening in-game, I thought I'd give a bit of a disclaimer. If you think that I am seem to be wearing the same clothes all the time, that is because it's very cold here. So I just put this big jumper on top just to keep warm. Don't worry, I, I do actually own other clothes here and there, but it's that time of year where you just put eight layers on and then hope for the best. As Martial goes very close. I even have like a heater thing here, heating my, my extremities or whatever. That's how cold it is nowadays here in Turkey. Anywho, Sule also goes close. I mean, what a boring 
first half this has been. And now Ren, are they going to punish us? No, they're not. Ren, Amazon Royale. Go on then. Ooh. Bit of interest for Amazon Royale. Sadly, it's for Newcastle. But Bellingham is in. Oh, he actually scores. And Danzinho gets the credit for the assist. Good job, lads. I mean, we are absolutely dominating them. So I think it's pretty fair. <clears throat> Marshall involved as well with a bit of hold up play. Danzinho is just a great little tap through the defenders and then smacks it in the bottom corner. Right, we're well, 1-0 after half time. It's not overly convincing. So actually, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to say I'm not happy. But then I'm going to say, you weren't that bad and you can still improve. I have faith in you. And uh, yeah, to go back to the shirt thing, I mean, literally all the episodes, I'm going to I'm gonna just finish the season today and then record all the the, the necessary recordings or whatever. So I'm going to go mental. I'm gonna, I love this save. I want to get to the summer, start making transfers and all sorts. Uh, so... I'm just going to record loads of them. So I will literally be wearing this for like five episodes or something. And of course now as Rafinha is putting us 2-0 up, which was a great goal. Um, now it's kind of the crunch time in the in the league and in the cup, of course. So there's going to be more episodes and we kind of want to see all the Euro Cup action, right? <clears throat> and also want to see what we end up with in the league. But, so... As Kane randomly, I saw just won the ball all the way down there. I mean, good work, Kerry Kane. Not what I bought you for or whatever, <laughs> kept you for, but sure, we'll take it, we'll take it. Regulon. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I'm buried here. This is dangerous pattern of play from SI. Like, <clears throat> Go on then! <laughs> Emerson Royale smashes it off the bar. Holy crap. He was trying to, he was trying to ruin it there. Right, well, 66 minutes gone, and we're going to make some changes. Some fresh legs on. Harry Kane is struggling a bit, so why not take him off? Um, do you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's put Son up front. Martial is not having a great game. Give Ren with a very optimistic free kick, goal kick, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it was a free kick, but it, it was kind of like a goal kick, right? Damn seen you now. I mean, we're just playing some lovely football, and as we should... We are... Oh! Uh, what? Wait. Capwe? Hum, hang on a minute. What actually happened? He wasn't even near the ball. Okay, let's see this again. So Capwe is up here. And what does he do? Did he just elbow him or something? It looked like it. But he just kind of did that. He was trying to do start the, the wave thing on the stands. And then... Im impedes. He impeded son. Isn't that... Oh, no, I'm thinking of impeach, impeachment or whatever. Right, well, now they're, like... Now they only have 10 players, so... Should be doable, right? But uh, let's make some more changes. Rafinha is actually struggling, so... Mm, Brian Gill can come on for him. Hoybia for Skip. Or the other way around, however you want to put it. So we have one more left. We'll keep that in mind. And just... I don't know. What's well, another free kick? This time mailing. Is he going to get a red card as well? Surely not, right? Warning. Okay, why are we watching this? This is because this highlight goes to a school. Pretty close, though. Pretty close. Sule, that is not a great ball there, but okay, okay. <clears throat> right, well, I feel like we kind of want another goal, right? 2 0. Of course, there's no away goals any longer in, in European football. So that doesn't really matter, but. I feel like getting a few more goals. Did I say? I think I said 4-0 right at the start. I mean, yeah, yeah, why not? 4-0, we have time. They are a man down, so why the heck not? Let's just pile on the pressure. Brian Gill to, literally to Hazibi. And now they're coming forward. Please don't do this. Sule, good defending. As this highlight is just continuing, this is going to be the longest highlight in the world. Go on then. I mean, it's a... Great tiki-taka football there, just... Bubbles it over the top, and then Son, well, he reacts faster. And the goalkeeper was doing this. He, he has an injury of sorts. Like, oh, I better stretch my my esophagus, or no, my my shoulder. Right. Well, good goal from Son. And uh, let's just get another one. Let's just get one more. Right. One more. Go on then, Sule. I'm gonna make the last change. Regulon can come off for Ben Davis. Yeah, sure. Why not? <coughs> Skip. Go on then. <gasps> Skipped over the top. Ah! That was so funny. 
Oh, they have Martin Terrier. Terrier. Surprised he didn't get the red card. Oh, Son goes close. What is Son of Sule? Or neither, or whatever. Right, well, there we have it, I think. Full time indeed. A 3 0 victory. Very, very straightforward. I mean, we absolutely smashed them. So, what on earth could go wrong? Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. I agree. I certainly agree. Uh, of course, their red. Oh, Yulman spotted. Ah, uh, okay. He's the national team. Uh, national coach of Denmark. Of course, of course. Well, you don't need to come watch them. Of course, they're going to play. They're the stars for Denmark. Right, anyway, I was going to. I'm just going to fast forward and play Aston Villa in between, but we kind of want to go to the Ren rematch and see, see what's up. So, with the power of editing, be right back. With the magic power of editing, we are now back. And we did play one match in between. I mean, I guess I can quickly show you. We beat Aston Villa 3-1. Great, great, great victory. And it was not stressful at all. Not close at all. Not... Danny Ings scoring after 30 minutes at all. Just straightforward. Very good win. Um, but uh, yeah, let's do the rematch, I guess, versus Ren. Or see if they can get a rematch. And um, in terms of changes, Rodon is going to play because Romero is kind of knackered of it. And uh, other than that, Damsinho out on the left instead of Son, who still, still is not just... <clears throat> so other than that, pretty straightforward. Let's just, you know, nice and easy. No injuries, no funny business. Let's just get through this. Gotta get through this. Uh, gotta get through this. Uh, oh. Right, we cannot allow complacencies to do, undo all the great work we did. Something like that, right? Sounds sounds glorious. It sounds very glorious. And I guess I can show you what I actually always do. I mean, I've told you before, but playing this 4 3 3 formation. Man mark the crap out of the very, very isolated striker, right? And then you pressure the two wingers because <clears throat> they're usually like, it, nowadays it's always like inside forwards and all that. So you have them pressure. That means your fullbacks are pressuring them, hopefully. And they, so they actually kind of follow them in. That is the idea, right? Whilst your two central defenders deal with the lone striker. And then this happens. And then they go 1 0 up. And then. Whoa, no, 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 off the bar. What are you doing, Golini? Okay, I mean, I'm not going to judge. He clearly had it all under control. I was not uh, worried at all there. As the camera is doing a fancy switchy route. Kane off the bar. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, let's test this out. I'm going to say encouraged because it's nil-nil, right? Let's see the, the mental... Oh, they hate that. They absolutely hate it. Oh, and Kane is now injured. Well, let's just get him off. Let's not uh, do any... Uh, Almada, on for him. Almada, who is really... Uh, confirmed changes, what do you mean? Why is this a thing? Uh, it took like 15 minutes by the time like I actually put him up when he was injured. That is so annoying. Um, I'm just going to say I'm far from pleased. But to the first point there, because we're leading like 3-0, I guess. Was it 3-0? I think it was 3-0 accurate. Yeah. So if I encourage at nil nil, they kick off. It's like, don't say encourage. The only thing that works is praise. Everything else is like, it hurts my boo boo. That's Maya goes very close. Good save, I guess, from Golini. Uh, uh. But uh, yeah. So far, so absolutely trash, I guess. Uh, but okay. I mean, by all means, we don't want to counter attack or anything. Yeah, and to the second point there, like when you're making a sub using this one, which is something I've trained myself to do in FM21, I never used to do that, but something I finally trained myself to do, so I do it now out of habit, and then it wants me to click confirm all the way up here, so I'm not even noticing it, like I'm just watching the screen right there, and then all of a sudden I notice, oh, confirm changes up there, and it's like, what? Ah, this game sometimes driving me crazy. Right, let's see if we can build something from the back, or we're just gonna launch it. Rodon is drive. <sighs> do, 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 do. Don't mind me, but Rodon is coming off for Sturgio. Welcome, welcome. What else should we do? Dumpsy, oh, Martial. Everyone is just crap. Son for Martial. Why not? Hmm. 
Right, that's not what you want to see from Rodo. I mean, let's, let's by all means. Is he going to redeem himself? Go on then, go on lad. If he now makes an assist, I'll, I'll feel stupid, but he almost makes an assist for Ren. I mean, just don't pass it. No, don't you. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. How you be out? Almada, go on lad. Yeah, that was a great ball to Rafinha. We all saw it coming there. Uh, back to Emerson. How you be out, Rafinha? Go on then. <gasps> Wow, I thought it was in there. It did a little bit of a lag there thing. Holy moly, that was close. Right, well, 10 minutes left, so may as well do the last changes. Brian Gill can come on for Damsinho, and do you know what? Let's put on Elliot Anderson on the right side. Why not? Okay, corner from Brian Gill. Go on then, Sule. Oh, Sule scored as well versus Aston Villa. I noticed he has like seven or eight goals this season, which is pretty bonkers. But of course, them set pieces are pretty strong. But um, we keep the ball. I oh, hope oh, Brian, go on. Oh, he wanted it, Mr. Son. Go on then. I mean, it's great from Bellingham. Off the post. That is unfortunate. But we still contain the ball. Go on then. Piling on the pressure here. Brian looks up for it. Go on, Brian. Good block there by the defender, to be fair. But uh, I mean, come on. Sule. Yeah, that was silly. Like, why... He got tricked there by the attacker. So he, instead of just <coughs> taking it down, he bloody headed it forward. He was in, under no pressure whatsoever. All right, throw in from Emerson to Anderson to Hoibia to Emerson Royale. It's so weird that he's called Emerson Royale. What do people actually call him? I mean, just Emerson, right? Does it does it also say that on the his actual shirt in real life? Does it say Royale or Emerson Royale? Anderson, go on. Almada. We, nice hold up play here, I guess. Go on then! That ball from Almada, right? No, Bellingham actually, sorry. That was sick. But I think he was offside anyways, but oh well. That's Roma smashing the young boys. Uh, but yeah, no no, I mean probably should have won it, but I mean we'll take it. We're through. And um, that's how you handle a two-legged affair. Sure, why not? Continue. And uh, yeah, that is that. So what do we do? Woo! Semi-final versus, versus Olympic Lyon. And fine out versus Roma and the other one. So should be a lot more difficult than than Ren, you would think, right? Lyon, of course, is a staple in world football. Yeah, Ren is 13th in the league. Uh, oh, surprise, surprise. PSG are winning. That's a shock to everyone. I mean, I guess we may as well show you this one because, surprise, surprise, Liverpool are winning. They are 14 points clear of Chelsea in second. Now, to be fair, we can, we can end up on 72 points if we win our two matches, but still, yeah, it's, it's not looking good in terms of the league title, but uh, I guess that was never supposed to happen anyways. But, um, hmm. right, well... Let's see the schedule, because what is the plan? What is the plan? Oh my god, right. But this is almost a little bit annoying, but... So, so we also have a semi-cup... FA Cup semi-cup... <sighs> so we also have the FA Cup semi-final match next, versus Brighton. I'm not going to show you that one, but I'm almost thinking of doing an arsenal Lyon and then a united Lyon whammo, and then... We shall see then. Hopefully, we'll have the, the finals at some point later this season. But, um, yeah, that is pretty much going to be it. And, uh, well, see you soon because I'm just going to play on and finish the whole season today. So, thanks for watching. Press like, subscribe, all that jazz. And, uh, till next time.